Hello, test mic. Can you hear me? Hello, test mic. Can you hear me? Okay. Hello, kaya pa? Nandiyan kayo guys? Kayang-kaya yan.
Ayan. Matatapos na kayo? Okay, let's start. Um, Doon sa mga nasa Zoom natin, Angelique, Tina, and JV, siguro mamaya nyo natapusan yan. We will just start the discussion. No. Uh, give me a thumbs up or a yes if you are already here. Please, please. na po. Okay. Thumbs up. <laughs> Alright. So, si JV Angelique, okay na. How about Tina? Tina, medyo na late kaya ta sa pagpasok, no? Ayan. Sige. Tina, pwede pumunta ka na muna sa zoo para makapag-start na tayo. Makikita mo rin yung questions dito later. Okay, so we are live. We are live on YouTube nga pala ha. So, pero no worries, your faces will not be shown naman. Okay. So, let's start. Kamusta? Kamusta yung, ano nyo, pagsasagot? Aha. Uh -huh. Mahirap, madali. Sino yun? JV, ikaw ba yun? <laughs> Kamusta? Ay, no worries, kasi hindi pa naman nakalagay dyan yung score lahat, yung tamang score. Pero, tingnan natin, sana... After nito, makita nyo na siya. Sobrang dali lang pala nitong balancing chemical equation at saka stoichiometry. Ba't ko pinahirapan yung sarili ko dati? So, ayan. So, ayun yung sana mangyari today na 
makita nyo yung questions, parang ang hirap nung sinagutan nyo on your own, but after this, I hope, I really hope na mapadali natin yung buhay nyo. Kasi, balancing chemical equation at saka stoichiometry problems is really easy. Kaso, minsan, pinapahirapan natin yung buhay natin, nakala natin mas maganda pag mas complicated, di ba? Pero, mas maganda kung mas simple yung buhay natin, mas maaano natin yan, mas masasagot natin. Okay? Let's start. So, now, we are asked, actually, we are just asked here how many molecules of hydrogen gas are in the balanced equation below. Pero, syempre, to solve that, kailangan rin talaga nating mabalance yung equation nito. So, sa equation, we have nitrogen and hydrogen gases forming ammonium. The first step in balancing a chemical equation is writing the chemical equation as shown. Okay? Um, sometimes, in the exams, hindi kayo bibigyan talaga ng nitong mga symbols na to. So, it will pay kung alam nyo ano ba yung reactants, ano yung products, and then isulat nyo siya in a chemical reaction. Okay? Sometimes nga hindi kayo bibigyan ng symbols ng compounds and elements eh. So, yung mga madadali, carbon, oxygen, nitrogen, hydrogen, yung mga yan, make sure nyo na alam nyo yung symbol at saka alam nyo rin yung forms niya. For example, yung nitrogen gas, we should know that nitrogen gas is a diatomic molecule, so N2, hindi pwedeng N lang. Hydrogen also, diatomic rin siya, so we write as H2, alright? So, I hope that's clear. Pero, that's not the topic ngayon. So, wag muna, natin mag, wag muna tayo mag-focus on writing the chemical equation. Kaya, binigay ko agad sa inyo ito, tong chemical equations na to, so that mag-focus tayo how to balance them out. Okay? And also, why do we balance the chemical equation? Kasi, di ba, hindi naman pwedeng... Meron kang dalawang nitrogen, tapos naging isa na lang. Hindi naman siya nagpa-follow sa chemical rules, di ba? Parang out of nowhere, nawala yung isang nitrogen. So, hindi pwede yon. Always, we have to balance an equation para makita natin kung saan napupunta yung mga elements. Okay? Aha. Uh -huh. So, let's start. So, we are done with the first part, our first step. Write the chemical equation. Next. We have to count the number of each element in the equation. But to do that, of course, we have to write the elements involved in the equation. We have to list down. Ano yung mga elements na nandito? We have nitrogen. We have hydrogen. Okay? Of course, um, hindi mo na kailangang i-check kung meron pa bang ibang element dito sa right side. Kasi... Kung ano yung elements mo na nasa left side, dapat, yun din yung elements na nasa right side mo. That's how yung chemical equation works. Hindi naman pwedeng may oxygen ka sa reactants, tapos wala kang oxygen sa product side. So, that will be impossible. Okay? Um, now, we count the number of atoms in each element. Atoms of each element. Nitrogen, how many do we have? We have... Two. Very good. And hydrogen, we also have two. Okay? Paano natin nakita yon? Kasi ito yung subscript. Okay? Yung subscript, sinasabi niya how many atoms yung element na nasa equation natin. Alright? Let's go to the right side of the equation or the product side. Here, we only have one nitrogen and we have three. Hi uh, sorry, one nitrogen and three Hydrogen. Okay? So, kita natin, hindi talaga siya balance. ba? Pero saan tayo mag-start, mag-balance? Um, when we are solving, ha, when we are balancing chemical equation, make sure you treat or you start one element at a time. Huwag nyo i-balance lahat yung parang, oh, nitrogen, hydrogen, magpa-balance to in one shot. So, we take one element at a time. We balance one element at a time and then magpa-follow na yung susunod. Okay ba yun? So, let's start with nitrogen kasi siya yun naman yung una nating sinulat. Nitrogen. 
to be balanced, anong kailangan natin gawin? Kailangan natin itong i-multiply by 2, di ba? So, ngayon, we have 2 nitrogen, 2 nitrogen din dito. Paano natin gagawin yung 2? Ilalagay natin siya dito sa ammonia. Take note, we can only change the coefficient. Ayan, we can only change the coefficient of the species involved in the reaction. Hindi pwedeng itong NH3 gagawin mong NH4 or gagawin mong NH6. Hindi pwede yun. We only change the coefficients of the species. Alright? So, again, we multiply 1 by 2. We multiply yung nitrogen by 2 para mabalance natin. So, now, for now, balance na yung nitrogen. But, take note, this two coefficient, yung coefficient na to, na-affect niya yung nitrogen and na-affect niya rin yung number of molecule or number of atoms ng hydrogen. This time, we should also multiply 3 by 2. Now, tignan natin. Now, we have 2 here and 6 na sa product side. Balance yung nitrogen, pero yung hydrogen... Hindi. Pero, it's easily, um, it will be easily solved naman. Kasi, pwede naman natin i-multiply yung 2 by 3. And, lagay natin yung coefficient na to sa hydrogen. Now, we have a balanced chemical equation. So, check natin. For nitrogen, we have 2 here. We also have 2 here in the product side. For hydrogen, we have 6. 3 times 2. And for hydrogen on the product side, you also have 6, 2 times 3. Okay ba yun? Do you have question? Okay. Sige. Next, let's move on. Madali pa to kasi ka, ano pa lang siya, mga diatomic pa lang siya or elements pa lang siya. So, next, next, next. How do we do that? Okay. Number two, again. Same thing, we have to write the chemical equation as shown. And we have to count the number of atoms of each element in the equation. To do that, ano ano ulit yung mga elements? Let's write or let's list down the elements. We have nitrogen and we have oxygen. Meron pa ba? Wala na. So nitrogen, here we have two atoms, right? And on the product side, how many? We also have two atoms. For the oxygen naman, we have 5 and we have 6. So, again, yung 5 nakuha natin kasi O, subscript niya ay 5. So, we have 5 atoms of oxygen. And then 6 because we have 4 oxygen dito sa nitrogen tetroxide. Sulat natin dyan. 4. Sulat niya na. 4 nitrogen, uh, from 4 oxygen from nitrogen tetroxide and 2 oxygen from the oxygen gas. Okay? Balance yung nitrogen, so wag muna natin siyang galawin. Ha, balance yung nitrogen for now, wag muna natin siyang galawin. Mag-focus tayo dito sa oxygen. Okay? Okay? So, tingnan natin ah. How do we balance? Mm, meron kasi tayong dalawang part, di ba? So, meron tayo ditong 6 total of oxygen. Dito, 5. Ano kayang game plan natin dito? Hmm. Anything? Anyone? Ano kaya yung naiisip yung gagawin natin to balance out the oxygen? Anong Okay, try natin na I-multiply natin sa reactant side by 2. Okay? So, lagay natin to 2. Okay? Now, we have 10 moles of oxygen. And since nabago rin tong nitrogen, 
mamultiply rin siya by 4. Tama? Now, hindi na balance, hindi na lalong na balance, pero don't worry, sobrang easy lang niya kasi kung mapapansin nyo, di ba, itong 4 at saka 2, pag minultiply natin yung 2 by 3, we will have 10 na. So, 4 plus 2 times 3, we have 10 molecules of oxygen na. So, balance na natin yung oxygen. Lagay lang natin yung 3 dito. Tama? Tama ba yun? Uy, tama ba yun? <laughs> okay. Tama ba? 6 plus 4 equals 10. So, ito, 10 din. Pero, syempre, magre-recount tayo kasi nagkaroon tayo ng mga coefficient na nakaka-affect sa iba pang elements. Try natin i-recount ha kung nasa ano na tayo, kung nasa tamang landas na tayo. So, for nitrogen, now we have 4. Correct? Um, sorry ha, times 2. So, now we have 4. For oxygen, we have 5. 2 times 5, so 10 ren. For nitrogen on the product side, hindi siya mababalance. Pero, ay sorry, dapat hindi natin. Wait lang ha. Hindi siya mababalance, pero lagay natin tong 2. Hindi pala ito ha. Sorry ha. Erase natin to. Kasi ma-affect siya. Sorry ha. Naguluhan ba kayo doon? Sorry naman. Ayan. So, 2 times 2, we will have 4 nitrogen now. And, yung oxygen natin, 4 times 2 plus 2 is 10. So, now we have a balanced equation. Okay, ah, sorry, ah, hindi ko finalo yung ano ko, yung kaninang rule ko. Again, take one step at a time muna tayo. One step at a time muna tayo. Or one element at a time muna. Okay. So, now, this is our balanced chemical equation. Wala yung 3, ha? Okay? So, 2 nitrogen pentoxide giving you 2 nitrogen dinitrogen tetroxide and oxygen gas. Alright? So, I hope hindi kayo naguluhan dun sa part ng oxygen. No, no, okay naman, ha? Ayan, sorry dun. Number three, how many atoms of oxygen are on the right side of the balanced equation given below? Okay. Next, again, write the chemical equation. Now, we have to... Count the number of atoms of each element. Yanan pa rin, paulit-ulit lang naman yung step. But this time, iba-iba naman yung ano natin. Iba-iba yung elements. Alright? So, we have sodium. We have hydrogen, carbon, and oxygen. Meron pa ba? Sodium, hydrogen, carbon, and oxygen. So, yan na. Lahat na yan. Now, let's count. Sa left side, meron tayong 1 sodium, 1 hydrogen, 1 carbon, and 3 oxygen. Tama? So, here we have 2 sodium, 2 hydrogen. Tama? Ah? So, sodium, 2 Hydrogen, 2. Carbon, we have 1, 2. Okay? And then for oxygen, we have 3 plus 2 plus 1 is 6. Napansin nyo ba? Sobra, kala natin ang daming elements involved, no? Pero sa totoo lang, multiple lang naman siya ng 2. So what we need to do here is just Put 2 here. Para lahat, multiply natin by 2. Sodium is multiplied by 2. Hydrogen also multiplied by 2. And carb uh, carbon and oxygen multiplied by 2 lang. Diba? Isa lang yung na, ano natin. Isang species lang yung ginalaw natin. But we'll find out that 
the whole equation is now balanced. Tama? So, sana natama nyo yan. Diba? So, ayun, wag lang tayong magpa-overwhelm sa ang dami-daming subscript, tapos ang dami ng elements. Again, we just have to follow this. Make your, make your table systematic or your solution systematic. Write the chemical equation, write down the elements involved, and then list down how many atoms of the elements. Tapos yun, tignan nyo lang yung relationship and try to balance it out by multiplying our species or products and reactants sa iba't ibang coefficients. Okay? So, I hope that's clear. Number four, balance the chemical equation below. Ito, mapagpanggap rin to. Akala mo, ang daming elements, pero let's try to answer. Sige. Um, ano ulit ang first step? Paalala nyo sa akin. Ah, bukod syempre doon sa write down the chemical equation. What's the first step again? Wow, okay, thank you, JV. So, we have hydrogen here. We have chlorine. We have calcium. We have carbon. And we have oxygen. Alright? Let's, let's write the or let's count the number of elements or atoms of each element for hydrogen we have one for chlorine we have one calcium we have one carbon one oxygen three on the product side naman we have hydrogen we have two chlorine we have also two Carbon, ah, sorry, that's calcium, that's one. Carbon, we have one as well. And the oxygen, we have three. So, pansin nyo dito, pare-pareho na siya. Balance na siya dito, di ba? So, kailangan na lang natin baguhin tong HCl. Ito, HCl. Multiply natin sa two. So, yan. That's now the balanced chemical equation. Kasi hindi naman natin kailangan ng baguhin ito. Wala naman tayong binago dito at saka dito. Tama ba? Clear? Oh, yan. ba diba? Sobrang dali lang. Kasi meron tayong systematic way of solving the problem. Tama? Okay ba? So, do you have question? So far, wala naman. Kaya, tama naman sagot natin, di ba? 2 hydrogen, 2 hydrogen, 2 chlorine, 2 chlorine. 1 calcium, 1 calcium, 1 carbon, and 1 carbon. Tapos, 3 oxygen, and 3 oxygen pa. Alright. Now, here, mas marami na naman to. Tignan natin. Okay. Galing. <laughs> di ba? Sana ha, sana um ganun lang talaga yung ano ko, yung tip ko sa inyo. Don't be overwhelmed sa dami ng involved. Basta focus kayo sa plan. Focus kayo sa rule, focus kayo dun sa steps and then do as follows. Again, Tina, marinig ko naman boses mo. Gusto ko marinig ang voice mo. <laughs> yes, sige nga. Give me ano yung mga elements involved. ba? kailangan natin isulat mo na yung elements involved. What are these? Okay, we have copper. Hydrogen. Nitrogen and oxygen. Alright, thank you, Tina. Okay, now let's count. Copper, we have one. 
For hydrogen, we have 1 as well. For nitrogen, we have 1. And for oxygen, we have 3. On the product side, meron ulit tayong isang copper. For hydrogen, we have 2. For nitrogen, mapapansin nyo, etong 2 na to is also counted in nitrogen. So, we have 2 plus 1. Tama? So, total, we have 3 nitrogen. For oxygen, we have 3 dito sa left side. Tapos, dito rin, 2 times 3. So, that would be 6 plus 2 plus 1. Total is 9. Okay. Mamaya mapapansin nyo, bakit natin sinulat in this way? Kasi mamaya makikita nyo. <laughs> Alright? So, try natin i-balance sa um, trial and error. Sometimes you have to do trial and error din, di ba? Para hindi tayo masyadong ma-overwhelm. Um, try muna natin to ha. Since yung hydrogen natin, mas maunti doon sa left side or doon sa product side, sa reactant side, ito yung itry natin i-multiply by 2. Okay? So, pag na-multiply natin to by 2, ito ha, maliit lang muna kasi try lang to. This is not the first answer. Mag gusto ko lang makita nyo yung process. Okay? Gusto ko nyo lang makita yung process. Um, so, now we have 2 hydrogen. Pero, yung nitrogen din natin na bago. ba? So, 2 nitrogen. Oxygen natin na bago din ba? Yes. Kasi kailangan rin natin siyang i-multiply, ba? 6. Mapansin nyo, ba? Hindi pa rin siya balance. Uh, or, ang hirap pa rin siyang i-balance. Kasi, meron ka ditong 2, meron ka ditong 3 pa rin. Diba? Sometimes, if you have total number of 3 dito, tapos dito 2, what we do is, we just multiply ito by 3, tapos ito multiply by 2, para maging 6. ba? Usually, ganun yung ginagawa natin when balancing equation. Pero this time kasi, hindi magkasama yung nitrogen mo. They belong to different species. ba? Or they belong to different molecule. So, it pays na, tignan nyo yung relationship. Kung may 2 ako dito, tapos meron akong dito 2 at 3, 2 at 1, 3. Magdagdag na lang ako dito, di ba, ng isa? Or i-multiply ko to by 2 para maging 4 pareho? Tama ba? Tama ba yon? Nakikita nyo yung, ano, yung process? Sige ha? So, dito, times 2 ko to, Tapos, ito magiging 4 na. Ito magiging 4 na rin. ba? Pero don't forget, syempre, itong 2 na to, ilalagay natin siya dun sa kung saan siya na molecule nagbibilong. So, ito magiging 4 na. Bakit 4? Kasi 2 times 2, ba? 4. Now, yung number of hydrogen natin will also become times 4. 4 na rin to. Tama ba? So, 4 hydrogen, 4 nitrogen. Tapos, itong oxygen natin magiging times 4 na rin. So, we will have 12. Tama? So, clear tayo so far dito? May question ba? Alright. So, again, binago lang natin yung coefficient. Tapos, nagtali lang tayo ng mga changes sa number of atoms ng iba't ibang elements sa reactant side. Okay? And dito, since itong 1, saan ito nag, nagpe-pertain itong 1 na to? ba dito sa nitrogen na to? So, multiply natin itong NO2 sa 2. Kasi, minultiply natin itong 1 sa 2 din. Alright? Now, we will have 2 nitrogen plus 2 nitrogen 4. 
And yung oxygen natin, number of oxygen natin, mababago din. Yung oxygen natin dito, multiply rin natin sa 2. So, it will become 4. Tama ba? So, ito magiging 6 plus 4 plus 1, 11. Hindi pa rin siya balance. Pero kaya Rod, makikita nyo, itong 2 ng hydrogen, madali na, lang, madali na lang ulit to. Kasi, anong kailangan natin? Imumultiply lang ulit natin sa 2. Para maging 4 siya. Tama ba? 4. Ilagay natin tong 2 dito. Kasi diba dito galing tong hydrogen na to? So now we have 4 hydrogen. And ito, 2 na rin. Kasi diba, galing to dito. Tama ba? So finally, we will have 12 number of oxygen. 12 atoms of oxygen. Okay ba yun? Step by step siya. Kailangan nyo lang makita saan kayo nagpalit ng uh, saan kayo nagpalit ng coefficient. Tapos, itali nyo siya kasi magbabago rin yung iba't ibang elements. Okay ba yun? Basta, take it one step at a time or one element at a time. Okay ba? Question? Question? Alright, sige. So, I think this is the last number for balancing equation. We will go now to solving stoichiometric equation. Or sto stoichiometric, stoichiometric problems. Okay, sige. Um, sige nga, can I survey sa inyong tatlo Nahirapan ba kayo solving this stoichiometric problems? JV? JV, nahirapan. Angelique? Tina? Tina? How about you, Tina? Yes or no? <laughs> wow, magkasama kayo? Okay. <laughs> Alright. So, hmm. Um, Yung kung ano man yung tingin yung nahirapan kayo, please erase it in your mind. I want you to have a fresh start. Gusto ko masabi nyo na ay madali lang tong stoichiometric problem. Okay? Clear your mind kung ano yung, ano yung mga conceptions nyo dito sa, na mahirap siya, hindi siya madaling isolve. Clear nyo siya. Kasi gusto ko magkaroon kayo ng fresh mind para ready kayong mag, um, mag inhale ng new Okay? Um, hindi mag-inhale ng bagong process or bagong step-by-step step natin. Okay? Madali lang to. Let's first count, uh, let's first read the problem. Siyempre. <laughs> okay? So, how many grams of carbon dioxide is produced when 5 moles of butane completely undergo combustion? Okay? Guys, the first step here in solving this kind of problem is to write the Balanced chemical equation. So, again, make sure your equation is balanced. Otherwise, kapag hindi balanced yung equation nyo, magkakamali at magkakamali kayo dun sa final answer. Pangat ng sulat ko, sorry. So, yan. <laughs> make sure it is balanced. So, now, for now, trust me that this equation is balanced. So, ito yung titignan natin. Or ito yung i-consider natin in solving this problem. Okay? Uh, the first step is, Mag-write muna kayo ng ganito, yung parang fences. Mamaya makikita nyo kung saan natin siya gagamitin. Okay? So, grams of carbon dioxide yung hinahanap, ba? So, how many grams of carbon dioxide? So, sulat natin agad dito, grams of carbon dioxide. Equals 5 moles of butane. Guys, I want to let you know, ha? The first step here is this. Lapat, kung ano yung given, isulat nyo siya agad. So, grams of carbon dioxide is equal to 5 moles of butane or C4H10. Sulat nyo na agad siya dito sa parang fence. 
Ito, kasi ito yung magiging basis natin. Okay? Now, hindi naman natin pwedeng i-convert agad yung grams sa mole, yung grams ng carbon dioxide or yung moles ng butane sa mass ng carbon dioxide, di ba? So, dadaan pa tayo ng iba't ibang process. Sa mga given, from the moles of, ika, from the moles, sulat natin na, from the moles of butane, or C4H10, pwede ba nating makuha yung moles of carbon dioxide? Using the, using the balanced chemical equation. Given tayo ng 5 moles of butane, ilang moles ng carbon dioxide yung pwede nating ma-produce? Well, to do that, kailangan nating consider itong balanced chemical equation. So, what I did here is this. Dito, sa part na to, isulat nyo yung stoic relationship niya. Okay, sulat nyo dito yung stoichiometric relationship niya from the balanced chemical equation. We know that 8 moles of carbon dioxide is produced by 2 moles of butane. So, ganyan siya. Pwede bang magkabaligtad yung pagsulat natin? Hindi. Kasi ang gusto natin, i-cancel natin tong moles of butane and moles of butane. So again, we converted the number of moles of butane to number of moles of carbon dioxide by using yung stoichiometric relationship niya found in the balanced chemical equation. So now we canceled mole and mole. Now, meron na tayong moles of carbon dioxide, di ba? Kasi na-cancel na natin to. To get the grams, anong pwede natin gawin? Kunin natin yung molar mass ng carbon dioxide, then we can convert grams of carbon dioxide. Given ba sa problem, ano yung molar mass ng carbon dioxide? Sa, 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 sa problem, sabi ko, uh, 48 grams of carbon dioxide per 1 mole of carbon dioxide. Cancel, cancel. Pansin nyo, kinancel na natin to. Cancel, cancel. Now, we were left with grams of carbon dioxide. Grams of carbon dioxide. At tulad nung hinahanap natin. ba? So, ganun lang siya. Cancel, cancel, cancel. Kaya natin to inilagay sa unahan para make sure mo, yung mole of butane, sulat mo agad sa mole of, sulat mo agad sa baba. Tapos yung relationship niya with mole of carbon dioxide. Clear ba yun? Clear or may question? Ayun, very good. Sweta, may nag-shot. San po nakuha yung 48? Okay. So, um, di ba to convert mole to gram, we need to use the molar mass. Remember? Wait, ha? In order for us to convert mole to gram, kailangan natin ng molar mass. And in the given, sinabi ko na sa inyo, molar mass of carbon dioxide is equal to, or yun sa problem kanina, di ba? Sabi ko, 48 grams per mole. Okay? Kaya, kaya na, uh, sideline, Para makuha natin tong 48, we have carbon. Ang molar mass ng carbon is 12. Ang molar mass ng oxygen is 16. Times 2 mo, kasi O2. Ibig sabihin, dalawang oxygen atoms. ba? So, 12 plus 32 equals 48 grams per mole. Okay ba yun? So, ayun, 48 grams per mole. Question? Alright. 
So I hope that's clear. If you don't have question, we can move on to the next round. <laughs> next round. Next question. Next question. Yes po. <laughs> Ako rin yung sumagot. Gusto niya yun. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, eto. Um, sinulat ko na dito yung mga ano, yung mga mga units para makita nyo yung plan. Kasi diba, um, in the decomposition of sodium bicarbonate, how many moles of reactant is needed to produce 15.5 grams of sodium carbonate? Okay? So, ito yung balanced chemical equation natin. Hinahanap natin yung mole, how many moles of the reactant. So, isa lang naman yung reactant natin, which is sodium bicarbonate. Diba? Again, first step, isulat agad dito sa taas yung given. 55.5 grams of sodium carbonate. Agad yan. Para ma-convert natin sa mole. Alright? Um, dito, di ba, ang meron lang kasi sa relationship ng balance chemical equation, moles lang. Di ba? Moles lang yung pinapakitang relationship sa balanced chemical equation. So, the plan is to convert the mass of sodium carbonate sa mole ng sodium carbonate. Para, pag alam na natin yung mole ng sodium carbonate, maku makukuha rin natin yung relationship niya with the sodium bicarbonate from the equation. Clear ba yun? Okay, so, first step, sulat natin yung given. Then, i-convert natin to sodium carbonate into moles. So, cancel, cancel. So, ano yung sabi ko na ano na molar mass ng sodium bicarbonate, which it is 106 grams per 1. Oh, mapapansin nyo, di ba? Kanina, yung, 100, yung grams nasa taas, tapos yung mole nasa baba. But this time, kailangan nating ilagay siya sa baba para makancel natin to. Okay? So, ganun siya. Kaya natin to nilalagay itong fences na to para hindi tayo malito kung saan natin ilalagay. Sa baba, sa taas. Okay? So, pag nasa taas tong gram of carb, uh, sodium, sodium carbonate, ilagay na natin yun sa baba para makancel natin. 106 grams and 1 mole. Okay, huwag niyong pagbabalik na rin ha. Huwag 106 mole and 1 gram. Never. Don't do that. Okay, so 106 grams of sodium carbonate is to 1 mole of sodium carbonate. Okay? Again, this is for the molar mass. Again ha. This is the molar mass of sodium carbonate. Okay, and then, now, we are ready to find the relationship mula dito sa chemical equation natin. So, yung mole of sodium bicarbonate, we have two. Ito yan ah. Remember, we have two sodium bicarbonate and one sodium carbonate. So that's the stoichiometric ratio. And now solve. Try to solve it. What answer will you have? Na so, solve ba kayo? So, okay. Pag sinolve nyo yan, ito yung maging sagot. 0 0.292 grams of sodium bicarbonate. Okay ba? So, cancel natin to, cancel natin to, we will be left with this unit. Oh, sorry, ah, this mole. Okay, question? Question? Madali lang ba? Or lalo kayong naguluhan? Ah, mahaba lang. Kailangan talaga yan para makuha natin. <laughs> okay. So, yun, mahaba siya, but it, it, it is a sure way na makukuha mo yung tamang answer. 
And I also want to point out rin pala ha, we only use three significant figures kasi sa given, three significant figures lang din. Alright? Um, may question ako ah. I-compute nga ulit natin to. May nagtatanong kasi. Um, let's compute for the molar mass of carbon dioxide nga ulit. May nagtatanong eh. Tama ba yung ginawa ko? Ah, sorry naman. Kaya pala, uy, yeah, next time, iyanin nyo rin ako. Kung, sabihan nyo rin ako, baka mali lang yung ano ko. Diba tama naman yung sabi ko kanina? 12 grams plus 32. Oh, 44 nga lang siya. San galing yung 40? <laughs> San galing yon? Okay, sige, pwede natin isolve ulit. Uy, next time ha, kapag ka ganyan, sabihan nyo naman ako. Nakalive tayo sa YouTube. <laughs> o, sabi nila. <laughs> Ayan, pero tama naman, di ba, yung process natin? 12 plus 32. Okay, so again, um, saan ang galing to? We have 2 moles of butane per 8 moles of carbon dioxide. And then we have... Um, 1 mole of carbon dioxide and 44 grams of carbon dioxide. Tama ba? Tama na yan, ha? So, ta ta 5 times 8 divided by 2 times 44. 880. Answer is 880. Okay ba? Ayan. Oh, nasagutan na natin to, di ba? Uh, number three. This is the last question, I think. Last question, no? Guys, madali ba? Or lalo kayo naguluhan? Okay naman po. Okay, ah. Okay tayo dyan, ah. So, again, ganun lang. Again, um, always follow the step-by-step -step process para hindi kayo ma-overwhelm. Uh-huh. So now, thermal decomposition of potassium chlorate produces potassium chloride and oxygen. Calculate the number of molecules of oxygen gas produced from 58 grams of potassium chlorate. So this is potassium chlorate, this is potassium chloride, and this is oxygen gas. Right? Now, given 48 grams of potassium chloride. Paano ba na, sige ha, bago natin to isolve up, para lang malinawan yung mga nanonood sa atin, ang hirap daw kasi. So, we know yung grams ng potassium chlorate. Right? Yan yung given. And, gusto natin siyang i-convert sa molecules. Ganun ko na lang ang molecules of oxygen. Siyempre, kailangan may pagdadaanan tayong process. ba? Hindi naman natin pwede i-convert agad yung grams of potassium chlorate sa molecules ng oxygen kasi magkaiba silang species. Magkaiba silang um, magkaiba silang compound at element. Totally different, ba? Pero, using this balanced chemical equation, makukuha natin. First, Kailangan, kapag given kayo ng grams, i-convert nyo siya always into mole. Kasi sa balance chemical equation natin, ang pinapakitang relationship lang ay yung mole. Yung mole. Okay? So, yung grams of potassium chlorate, i-convert natin dapat sa mole of potassium chlorate. Again, sa mole of potassium chlorate mo lang siya pwedeng maano ha? pwedeng ma-convert. Hindi pwede agad sa oxygen. Hindi pwede yon, Kasi gram to mole ng same compound. Okay? And then, meron na tayong mole ng potassium chlorate. 
pwede na natin itong i-convert or pwede na natin malaman yung mole of oxygen using the stoic ratio sa balance chemical reaction balance chemical equation okay and to convert the number of molecules ng oxygen anong gagamitin natin ito na sa molecules na ng oxygen gagamitin na natin dito yung Avogadro's number remember pa ba yung Avogadro's number hindi ko na susulat ha Avogadro's very good. Okay. So, again, ha, o, try naman natin. S nalagyan ng mga values. Nakuha na natin yung plan, di ba? Convert grams of potassium chlorate to mole of potassium chlorate and then convert or find out the number of moles of oxygen and then finally find the number of molecules. So, that's how we do it. So, I-lay out nyo muna yung plan. Okay, now, to get the moles of potassium chlorate, we use the molar mass dito. So, ano yung sinabi ko molar mass? 1 mole of potassium chlorate is equal to 123 grams of potassium chlorate. Okay, so, di ba, gram per mole. Cancel to, itong grams. And then here, we have to convert itong mole to mole of ox number mole of potassium chloride to mole of oxygen so we have 3 moles of oxygen is to 2 moles of potassium chloride again sa natin to nakuha 3 moles of oxygen from the balanced chemical equation 2 moles of potassium chloride again from the balanced chemical equation all right and then, finally, we have to convert the number of moles into molecules of oxygen. Okay? So, dito, for every one mole of oxygen, we know that there are 6.022 times 10 raised to the 23rd molecules of oxygen. Okay? So, clear tayo how we, saan natin nakuha itong mga numbers na to? Do you have a question? Solving for this, we will have 4.28 times 10 point, times 10 raised to the 23rd power. Ayan, ba? So, ito na yung answer. We have 4.28 times and raised to the 23rd power of molecules. Okay ba, kasyon? Ah, may nagtatanong. Guys, di ko gets paano nakuha yung units. Okay lang ba? Um, may question ba kayo how we get the units? Wala naman. Sige. Um, JV, Angelique, and Tina, if you don't have question, you can exit the Zoom kasi mag-entertain rin ako ng questions dun sa YouTube live. Sige. Thank you. Thank you so much. Sige. Okay, so magsagot tayo sa YouTube Live, ha? Dito muna tayo. Guys, are you still with me? Let's try to answer. Wala akong na-prepare na another example, ha? Pero, let's go back to the Given. Yung una natin given. Naiwan ko. Hala siya. Oh, so, go ulit ha. Una. 
uulitin natin from number 1 hanggang number 3. Okay? Now, uh, sana mas maitindihan nyo na to this time, ha? Okay. Now, again, let's read the question. How many grams of carbon dioxide is produced when 5 moles of butane completely undergo combustion? The first thing that we need to do is, actually, we have to write the balanced chemical equation. Now, here, we have the balanced chemical equation naman. So, we don't have to worry about that. The next thing is, Okay, units. Sa units tayo, ha? The next thing is, 5 moles of butane. Kasi ito yung given, di ba? Ilalagay mo agad yan sa 5 moles of butane. Now, yung moles of butane, gusto nating i-convert sa grams of carbon dioxide. Di ba? So, yung mole of C4H10 kaya nating makuha doon yung mole ng carbon dioxide. Bakit? Bakit? Gagamitin natin yung stoichiometric relationship nila. So, dito, to convert the moles of butane to moles of carbon dioxide, we can get it from the balanced chemical equation. Okay? BCE4 Balanced chemical equation. Paano? Kasi sabi dito, for 8 moles of carbon dioxide, ito, for 8 moles of carbon dioxide, produced from 2 moles of butane. Paano natin nakuha itong units ng moles of carbon dioxide and moles of butane? Dito. Kasi ang ibig sabihin na itong 8 na to, you have 8 moles. Ang ibig sabihin ng 2 na to, you have 2 moles. So, 8 moles of carbon dioxide and 2 moles of butane. Okay? So, kailangan natin kasing i-cancel itong moles, mole of butane, mole of butane, kaya natin siya isinulat this way. If ever hinihingi sa atin is carbon dioxide dito, ilalagay natin yung carbon dioxide sa baba. But this time kasi ang hinahanap natin is yung mole of carbon dioxide. So, make sure natin nasa taas siya. Para kapag nag-cancel tayo ng units, matitira siya sa taas. Okay ba yun? So, na-cancel na natin tong mole of butane. Now, we can convert mole of carbon dioxide to gram of carbon dioxide this time using the molar mass. ba? Molar mass, ang unit niya is gram Per mole. Specifically, carbon dioxide has 44 grams per mole as its molar mass. Diba? So, sulat lang natin siya dito. 44 grams of carbon dioxide per 1 mole of carbon dioxide. Now, we can cancel this, cancel this, and solve, we will have 880 grams of carbon dioxide. Okay ba yan? Okay? Sige nga, can I have a yes a YouTube live if you, you, fi you followed me? Is there anything that we can clarify pa?
lalaki? Oh, sagutin lang natin ha. Saan daw nang galing yung 44? 44 grams per mole is the molar mass of carbon dioxide. Okay? So, if you don't know how we get the molar mass of carbon dioxide, you have to, ayan, may nagsagot na. You have to learn how to calculate molar mass of carbon dioxide. Okay? Paano naging 880? If you multiply, if you solve this problem, 5 times 8 divided by 2 times 44, you will have 880 grams. Okay, next. Yes, tama yan, Brian. Correct. Next. Number two ulit. So, can I get a yes? Kung gusto nyo pa ulit ng, ano, ng masagutan natin yung number two. Can I get a yes? Baka kasi nag-gets nyo naman siya. Uh, can I get a yes? Kung kailangan kayo gusto nyo pang ano? Ayan, sige. Number two. Um, again, let's read the question. In the decomposition of sodium bicarbonate, how many moles of the reactant is needed to produce 15.5 grams of sodium carbonate? Again, the first rule is to write the balanced chemical equation, which is here, andito na siya. Pero sa exam, make sure nyo na yung chemical equation na given sa inyo is always balanced. Okay? Minsan, li mas ma malimit or mas madalas, lilituhin kayo ng exam. Bibigyan kayo ng chemical equation, tapos hindi pala balance. So, the first step is really to make sure that you have a balanced chemical equation that you are working on. Okay? Ayan. So, ulitin natin yung number 2. Again, isulat natin to. Mole of sodium bicarbonate is equal to. Kasi yun yung hinahanap natin. How many moles of reactant? Diba ang reactant natin ito? Sodium bicarbonate. So, sulat natin yan. Mole of sodium bicarbonate is equal to. Kasi yun yung hinahanap natin. And then next, what we will do is, 15.5 grams sodium carbonate. Saan to galing? Sa given. Lagi natin isusulat agad yung given sa unahan, sa taas. Okay, so 15.5 grams of sodium carbonate, isulat agad natin. But before we solve, let's make a plan. Kailangan natin, sorry ah, wait lang, lobat ako. Sorry, nalobat ako. Okay. So, again, we have the mass of sodium sodium carbonate. From the mass of sodium carbonate daw, gusto nating malaman yung mole ng sodium bicarbonate. Okay? Always, tandaan nyo, kung kailangan nyo mag-convert into moles or any or any any part, kapag given kayo ng grams, i-convert nyo lang agad sa moles. Okay? 
convert agad natin sa mole ng sodium carbonate. Kaya natin siya i-convert agad into moles kasi ang binibigay naman na relationship sa balance chemical equation ay yung relationship ng moles, hindi yung relationship ng mass or ng grams. So, kapag nakakita kayo ng grams, convert nyo agad sa mole. Okay ba yun? Paano po? Ayan yung malalaman natin. Paano natin i-convert yung grams of sodium carbonate to moles of sodium carbonate? Again, we will use the molar mass here. Okay? Use natin yung molar mass. Tulad yung kanina, from mass of carbon dioxide, kinonvert natin into moles of number of carbon dioxide. So, this time, we have mass of sodium carbonate. We will just convert using the molar mass para makuha natin yung mole of sodium bicarbonate. Alright. Pwede na ba natin itong i-convert? Mole of sodium carbonate, i-convert na natin of to mole of sodium bicarbonate. Pwede na. Kasi dito, pinapakita na yung relationship mo. Pinapakita na ng, ng balance chemical equation yung relationship ng moles ng sodium carbonate at saka sodium bicarbonate. Okay? Isolve natin. So again, ang molar mass ng sodium carbonate ay 106 grams per mole. So, lagay lang natin siya dito. So, 1 mole over 106. Again, ilalagay natin itong grams dito para makancel natin to. Okay ba yun? And then now, dito sa next part na to, we have to use the balance chemical equation. Sabi, for, one mo, for two moles of sodium bicarbonate, makakapag-produce ka ng one mole of sodium carbonate. So, that's how we do it. Diba? So, 15 divided by 106 times 2 will give you 0.292 grams. Sorry. 2 moles. Okay? Okay tayo dyan? Solve natin yung number Alright, solve natin yung number 3. The question is, thermal decomposition of potassium chlorate produces potassium chloride and oxygen. Calculate the number of molecules of oxygen gas produced from 58 grams of potassium chlorate. <coughs> okay. Aha. Uh -huh. 
Now, again, sulat lang ulit natin. Ah, wait lang ha. Okay, sulat lang ulit natin to Molecules of oxygen. Kasi, hinahanap natin is yung molecules of oxygen. Diba? Nakalagay dito. Calculate the number of molecules of oxygen. So, sulat natin. Number of molecules of oxygen is equal to again, sulat agad natin yung 58.0 grams kasi yun yung given. Okay? Sulat na ulit natin 58.0 grams potassium chloride kasi given siya. Always yan. Always natin ginagawa yan. And then, let's draft our plan. So, para natin, para mas systematic yung way of solving natin, mag-draft mag tayo ng plan. We have potassium, or mass of the potassium chloride. Okay. Gusto natin i-convert sa number of molecules. Okay. So, natin i-convert sa number of molecules ng oxygen. Anong sabi ko kapag may grams tayo? Always, kapag may grams, i-convert mo agad siya sa moles para magamit mo itong balance chemical equation natin. So, from grams of potassium chloride, convert mo siya KClO3. Again, paano natin siya makoconvert? Just use the molar mass of chloride. Okay ba yan? And then, from the number of moles of potassium chloride, makukuha rin natin yung mole ng oxygen. Okay? Paano? Again, kailangan lang natin tignan yung balanced chemical equation. Tignan natin yung relationship, ilan ba yung, ano yung proportion ng KClO3 at saka ng oxygen. Okay? And now, if we have the number of moles of oxygen, makonvert na rin natin siya to the number of molecules using the Avogadro's number. Remember yung Avogadro's number nyo, yung 6.022 times 10 raised to the 23rd power. So, yan. Now, ito yung plan natin. Let's try to substitute this plan dito sa fences na ginawa natin. Okay ba? So, again, we write 123 grams per 1 mole of KClO3. Again, we write yung grams of potassium chloride dito para makancel natin to. Oh, walang masasulat sa screen. So, yeah. Oh. So, again, grams to moles to moles KClO3 Sorry ah, hindi pala nasusulat sa screen. Hindi ko napansin. Okay, may tanong, anong mas magandang gamitin sa exam? 6.02 or 6.022? Usually, guys, 
kapag meron kayong mga constants na ganito, binibigay yun sa exam. Kasi gusto nila na um, standard yung, yung question nyo or standard yung answer nyo. Okay? Pero kung hindi siya given, either way, pwede nyo gamitin. Just find yung uh, ano yung pinakamalapit na option. Kasi ba diba sa exam, hindi naman kayo pina, binibigay kung um, hindi naman kayo binibigyan ng blank question. Laging um, A, B, C, D. So, kahit anong gamitin mo, 6.02 or 6.022, pwede. Basta tingnan mo lang kung ano yung pinakamalapit na answer dun sa options. Okay? Um, okay, ha? It, i ano na natin to. So, 1 mole of KClO3 is equal to 123 grams of KClO3 and then 3 moles of oxygen equals to 2 moles of potassium chloride. And then 1 mole of oxygen times 6.022 times 10 is to the 23rd power. Okay? So, lagi siya, lagi mo siyang isusulat yung 6.022 times 10 raised to the 23rd power. Hindi pwedeng mawala tong times 10 raised to the 23rd power. Okay? So, now we will have the answer 4.28 tapos may 4.28 times 10 is to the 23rd molecules of oxygen. So, now that's the answer. Tapos may nagtatanong, um, bakit yung nakuha niya is 4.26 while nakuha ko is 4.28? Siguro mal, um, kasi nag, ano ako eh, nag ground off ako eh, sa, um, along the way, along sa process. So, mas maganda na yung solution mo, hindi ka nag round off. Kasi wala akong scientific calculator sa ngayon. So, kailangan ko mag-round off. Pero kung gumamit kayo ng scientific calculator where you can just key in everything all at once, ganun yung magiging sagot mo. That there should be no problem as well. Okay ba? So, can I get a thumbs up guys? Kung okay, clear? Okay, so we will end 